Welcome technology device viewers to this week's product spotlight. Joining us today is Paul Joyce, the CEO and co-founder of GeckoBoard, which is a data dashboard tool. We'll go ahead and get started with the first question. Can you describe GeckoBoard in one sentence? So uh, teams use GeckoBoard to create premium dashboards that allows them to communicate their most important data from multiple sources at a glance. And so what differentiates GeckoBoard from the competition? Well, we've got a, a real commitment to designing data for, for, for human beings first. So our competition ranges from spreadsheet and static reports to uh, that are emailed around to other dashboard solutions. Uh, in almost every case, there's little or no regard or thought been given to how the data is actually going to be consumed by the person at the other end of that. Uh, this is mainly because people are unaware of how we're wired to interpret visual stimulus. and. We've taken a lot of time to try and understand how the brain and the visual cortex work together so that can, we can really optimize the experience of consuming and understanding data at a glance. This removes cognitive barriers and makes understanding data really quick and easy by everyone in the business. Great. And who's the ideal customer for Gecko Board? Um, well, we have thousands of customers that range from tiny startups that you've never heard of, government agencies, and huge brands. So it really spans like, the full spectrum of company size. Uh, the one thing that they have in common is that they all want to do more with the data that they already have. Uh, they want to communicate the right data to the right people at the right time. Uh, so many have already got fairly inefficient systems for communicating data, um, such as, like I said, emailing spreadsheets around, or maybe they've rolled their own dashboard, and now they want to take communicating data uh, seriously and take it to the next level. So how do you price Gecko Board? We price our product based on the number of dashboards and number of users that you have. You can get started for less than $60 a month and grow from there. Interesting. And what's your current limitation for Gecko Board? Is there something that you'd like to admit that maybe the competition is doing better than you right now? I think the primary thing is that Gecko Board is not an analysis or BI tool. Uh, and I think that's maybe some of the people who are starting our trial, um, that's how they come to it initially. Um, so it doesn't allow you to drill in or slice and dice data. Uh, it exists purely for the purpose of communicating a core set of important data to be understand, understood quickly and easily. So that's not a feature set we're looking to build out. Makes sense. And what's a best practice? What's something that you like to recommend to users before they implement it? When you're starting with Gecko Board, I think the temptation when starting with any dashboarding system is more is more. And we would say, given the way that we're wired and given the way that human beings respond to uh, large amounts of data and information, Best just start with a core set of metrics, maybe five to eight key metrics that are really important to you or your team or your whole company. Uh, you can then use different dashboards for different purposes, but don't go too much on, on the data overload. Um, our most successful customers put their dashboards on large screens in their offices. Uh, now, not only is that a very efficient way of distributing data uh, to a, a large amount of people, but something very special happens when you change the way that people consume data. Instead of them going to their laptop or their phone to, to look at data, suddenly it's up in a public arena or, or uh, a, commu a communal arena. And a lot of our customers reported acting like a water cooler. So somebody will go past and they'll look at a number and they'll say, hey, this has changed recently. It's, something happened and somebody can chip in from the other side of the office. So you've decoupled that relationship between an individual and how they consume data. And when things like that happen, uh, it's incredibly motivational and allows people to approach problems and spot things earlier than they normally would. So I would say, if possible, always put it up on a, on a large screen in your office. Got it. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Paul. I really appreciate it. I know I certainly learned a lot. Uh, and if you or viewers would like to learn more about Gecko Board or other dashboard software, go ahead and check out our website where we can help you find technology that fits the needs of your work. Thanks for watching.